Hey, hey, this your boy Hood. Listen, I want to speak to you about one verse. And it's in Proverbs 18, 21. And you all have heard this scripture many times. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. You know, I hear a lot now about, you know, people saying, well, I'm going through, you know, God is doing something in this here. Oh, God is showing something in this here. Well, he's growing me up in some areas. You know, he's, you know, he's doing this here for a reason, you know. And, and we allow these people to speak this stuff over us. And we get happy and we have sermons about it. Well, God is going to send you through a trial. It's going to be a test. It is going to be a test. And God is purging, stump, purging things out of you. You know, to make you more like him. And he's just sending you through some things. And yes, he'll take some things away from you. You know, because you're clinging on to it too, too hard. You know, and he'll take some things away from you. You know, just to get his point across. And, and folks go to... A, a man in that stuff and don't realize that when you say amen that you're saying so be it that you're in agreement with it and the Bible says how can two walk together except they be agreed then when this stuff go to happen in your life and, and you think you're being a super deep Christian by going oh, we I'm going through for Christ I'm going through for the kingdom. And you think God is doing it. And God is, I'm not doing anything to you. You and God who's with the devil. Devil Satan trying to kill you. I'm not in, I, I'm not doing anything to you. See, listen here. All judgment was put on Jesus. If God is putting stuff on us to test us and trials and all this here. Jesus should have stayed where he was at. Because what he did was in vain. He should have stayed where he was at. People, we got to stop this here mess in the church. Thinking we such a deep saint suffering for the Lord and all this old crazy mess. Jesus did all the suffering. And we just think we're so deep. Oh, I'm going through. Oh, God is growing me up. Oh, he's showing me something. He's showing me something. Oh, he's growing me up in the Lord. Oh, he's purging this out of me. And when I get through with this season, there's always a season where you're suffering. And when I get through with this season, I'm going to come out smelling like roses. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. And you keep on saying that mess and you're going to eat it. And then you wonder why doors close on you. Why your health go bad, your finances go bad. And instead of you speaking against this stuff, you want to say that God is putting you through it. Then you have the nerve to ask God, to help you out of it. Pray to God to help you out of it. Wait a minute now. Let me see this here. You say God is taking you through some things. Then you pray to him to get you out of it. If he says you through it, then why don't you just let it go ahead and take his course? Why don't you just let sickness go ahead and take his course? Since he put it on you, you know, to draw you close to him, then just let it go ahead and take his course and kill you. Oh, God done took my job, you know, because he got a better job for you. Then just sit back and wait on a better job then. And struggle and starve to death. Don't go look for no job. You know, just let it take your course. Just let it take its course. And just let God bring you another job. Oh, God is working something in this here with, with me. God is doing something. 
And Satan said, yeah, I got this fool here. I got him. I got him. God ain't we look. The Bible says all good and perfect gifts come from above. See, God is a good God. And we don't put God in the realm of playing double jeopardy. The stuff that we accuse God of, folk go to jail for that stuff. And God is saying, that's not me. I'm trying to make you whole. Jesus said, I come that you may have life and enjoy life and in abundance and the full to it overflow. But in the same breath, you say that God is sending you through something to teach you, to purge you, to make you just like him. The only way you'll be just like him is, is when he see you through his son, Jesus. And purge you off for, for the rest of your life. You still wouldn't be like Jesus unless he saw you through Jesus. People, we got to get this foolish religion out of us. God ain't, God ain't sending you through nothing. Things happen because of sin in the world. Because we're in a fallen world. Satan. And you being in cahoots with the devil. God ain't sending you through nothing. God loves you. God wants you to come out of it. And he wants to help you out of it. He wants to be the one to bring you out of it. But you steady in cahoots with it and you in agreement with it. You holding on to it. Talking about you suffering for the Lord. <laughs> suffering for the Lord. And God is saying, no, son, no, daughter, I want to bring you out of that. That's not me. That's some religion you're listening to. And you wonder why the grace factor is not working in your life. You wonder why the favor factor is not working in your life. God loves you. And he wants to show you grace. He wants to show you favor. He wants you to live a awesome life. He wants you to live that abundant life that he came to give you. This your boy, E. Hood, praying that you come up out of that religion and get a real understanding of God's true character towards you. His true heart, his true desire, his true plans, his true purpose for your life. And struggle is not a part of it. You will be amazed at how much God loves you if you open up, come out of that religion, open up and allow him to show himself strong in your life. This your boy, E. Hood. Another lesson. I'm out. Peace.